first of all, congratulations. I just have to say, it's so good to see you again. We you used too. to share the court together. <laughs> Haven't seen you in a while. Now we're yeah. sharing the court together again. You're still doing your thing and winning. I'm in a little bit of a different capacity in a different role. And I'm just hoping you'll be a little bit less brutal than when I played you today, because I'm still a bit nervous <laughs> to interview you. <laughs> We've had some formidable matches. <laughs> a couple, but uh, I think they were a little bit more enjoyable for you than they were for me. Uh, <laughs> um, Congratulations. Thank you. That was a tough one. Yeah. Uh, you got through in straight sets. Uh, great to see you again in the fourth round of the Australian Open. It must feel great to get through that match. Uh, yeah, I definitely feel good to be in the fourth round, and um, it felt good to get through that match. I felt like I came out a little bit uh, not off to the starting blocks like I would have wanted to and like I have been since I've been playing here. But, uh, at, you know, it's about uh, surviving and, you know, playing better every round. Now, I could talk tennis with you all day. Mm -hmm. We know how amazing you are. 23 Grand Slams speak for themselves. So I'm going to go a little bit away from tennis. OK. And I have to talk about your outfit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now, when I first saw it, I said, this is the best thing I've ever seen. And you've had some outfits. Yeah. And I called it first, by the way, when this goes uh, in 10, 15, 20 years' time. Yeah. So I called it first. You heard it here first. I just have to say, ask you, where did the inspiration come from? Yeah, this is its so wild. I keep debating which, which ones are the best. I think this is one of the best ones, though. I mean, it's been... For sure. I, you know, I always like... It's like, okay, how do I outdo it? But I think we outdid it this time. It was pretty awesome. Well, I think you outdid it because you look amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. No, um, yeah. Uh, so Nike had this incredible idea. I actually can't take any credit for it at all. They, um, they had designed something, and I was like, let's, we can do better. And so they came out with something fresh, and they were inspired by Flojo, who obviously was an amazing American um, track star. And... Um, she did have the one that was a little bit higher, yep. um, and I opted not to have that because I don't want to get any more fines, so I thought okay. it was best if <laughs> I had more of a leg out here. <laughs> um, now, I just want to ask you a little bit about your adorable daughter as well. Yeah. Now, she's on the court. She's out there. She's watching she your is. matches, but she's now actually hitting some balls. Can I just ask you about that? Are, we, are you going to get into the coaching as well? Are we, what are we going to see here? Um, you know, I've been talking to her about playing doubles here with her one day. Well, uh, <laughs> she already has a Grand Slam title, doesn't she? Because you... <laughs> she could technically already has a Australian Open title. You won here when yeah. you were a couple the weeks trophy pregnant. The trophy's usually in her room. Um, but, uh, you know, it was the only thing that we can do social distance for almost a whole year of COVID. So I was like, I would never put my daughter in tennis. And then it was it's the best socially distanced sport that, you know, I think that you can play. So, okay. you know, she has a coach now. And <laughs> It's a lot of fun. There's a bit of pressure um, so on that loves... coach. What? <laughs> There's a bit of pressure on that coach with you on yeah. the sidelines. <laughs> Her coach is awesome, though. She's, like, really rad. Um, but and she's a lot of fun. And, and I'm like, oh, my three-year-old has a coach. How ridiculous is that, right? I mean, come on. <laughs> One last one. I won't keep you long. I know you have to go and rest and recover. But um, I just want to talk about the Architectural Digest um, piece that has come out on your new house and I didn't know you were such an art buff because your art room is unbelievable Can you talk a little bit about that how you got into that? Is that a big passion of yours? I love your questions first of all. Thank you so much. Oh my much. god. They're so I really, amazing. I Move over hard. Renee Yelena you. is <laughs> It took me 24 hours and I didn't sleep last night. So thank you. So you just made my year Not my day. <laughs> My year. <laughs> I love them. Thank you. Um, I love art. I love African American art, and I love supporting that. Um, and some amazing artists. Um, Titus Kafour is amazing. Um, and I just, I, you know, I, I'm really different. You know, if you can't tell, I'm, I'm just <laughs> different. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, so I just wanted to create a whole space that was like this really cool gallery. I just wanted to just be different and, and it worked. And Venus is in her, she has a whole company. She's amazing and so mm -hmm. she helped me out. And so I'm always looking at pieces in different art galleries and it's fun. I love modern art. Like I'm the kind of girl that walks in a place and sees like this whole um, canvas with a line on it and I'm like, oh, brilliant, you know? <laughs>
<laughs> well, I'm sure you'll find something in Melbourne potentially as well. Anyway, we love watching you play. Thank we look you. forward to seeing you in the next Thank round. You. Congratulations, ladies Thank and you, gentlemen. Lena. Serena Williams.